Good evening, guys. Nice to be with you again this evening. This is Pastor Robinson, New Covenant Church of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So happy, so thrilled, so thankful to be a part of his body. Oh my God, I am blessed. Hallelujah, so blessed. But I thank and praise God for this opportunity to come before you. We ask, of course, that you would listen, hallelujah, and uh, just hear what the Lord is saying and speaking to the church at this time. We are uh, absolutely going to read the word of God uh, that we think and believe that God is sharing with us this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First, I, I want to share with you, and I want to ask you to please share, 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 and want to ask you to subscribe and ask those who you know to subscribe to the channel. Um, yes, that always helps. Um, we are going forward, and we want to take you with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I uh, want to share with you a vision that was given me actually a couple of years ago. I have shared it with some others, uh, some other peers, and um, they have been like overwhelmed with, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now I, I'm bringing this vision forth to share with you. I don't remember if I was asleep or awake, but I believe now that I'm thinking back on it, that I was asleep. And that when I woke up, I remember writing down the vision. In this vision, I recall being present I, re I knew that i was there uh it seems like i was up over what i was seeing and <clears throat> i was seeing come out of a certain area in the back of the room that we were in now it wasn't a a, a, a room like with had walls and all i couldn't see any walls or anything like that but people men were coming up and appearing from a back place into the area where I was viewing from above. They were coming before a throne, and I knew it was a throne. There were a few steps that I could see. Everything was white. Everything was, uh, oh my God, I'm trying to describe uh, like a, a glistening white. And there was a voice that protrude, protruded from this throne. I couldn't see who was sitting on the top of the stairs. I couldn't even see the top of the stairs. All I could see was it was all white and that there were about two or three steps that I could see. There may have been more, but all I could see was two or three steps. And I was up here in the vision looking down. Guess what? Could not hear what was being said. But this is what I did see. I saw men, one at a time, coming to appear before this throne. And whatever was being said to them, it seemed like they were receiving instructions. And I recognized that these men who were coming out one at a time were leaders and that they were from different countries because of the attire that they had on. Uh, for instance, one person would come out and they had this Indian, uh, maybe had a turban on. And uh, then they would stand there, and I, I knew they were listening to what was being said to them. Like I said, I couldn't hear it. Uh, but I knew they were listening and receiving. 
and they were not writing anything. They were only listening and paying attention. They did not speak. There was no collaboration between whoever was on the throne, and now I know it was the Lord, and the, the man that was appearing before the throne. He would receive these instructions. And how, how do I know that? I just knew it. That's how I knew it. I knew that they were coming to receive instructions. And it was, you know, a place, a heavenly place. It wasn't hellish at all. They would stand there at attention and receive what was being said to them. And then they would go back right into that same area out of that place that they came from. And I wouldn't see them anymore. And then another man would come out. And I knew perhaps that he was from London because he had on a kilt and he had the, the shoes and had the, you know, all the attire that was from, I say London, but England is uh, more uh, uh, descriptive. And so he would come out and stand there for a few minutes and he was receiving what was being said and just listening. There was no conversation. And then he would go away. And then another gentleman would come out. And I knew he was from Africa because of the attire that he had on. And he was listening. And this went on. And this went on. There were so many that came out. They came out and they got instructions. They received instructions. And then they went back out of the same way that they came. I pondered that for years. I shared it with specific people because I knew everybody was not going to handle what I was saying to them or even believe that I hadn't eaten something that caused me to have a bad dream, which it wasn't bad at all. It was presence. It was a peaceful place. Uh, I'm trying to recall what all else I did see in that place but i want you to know that now i understand oh let me turn this up okay yeah you can hear me real good here all right so with that said i want to read this passage of scripture to you and i'm going to be reading from isaiah and I'm going to be reading from right this right, right, this right. Okay. Okay. Isaiah chapter 14, verse, I'm going to begin at verse 22. And I'm going to read the word of God to you. It says this. For I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, and offspring and posterity, says the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the porcupine and marshes of muddy water. I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, says the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so it shall come to pass. And as I have purposed, so it shall stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and on my mountains tread him underfoot. Then his yoke shall be removed from them, and his burden removed from their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed against the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out over all the nations. For the Lord of hosts has purposed, and who will annul it? His hand is stretched out, and who will turn it back? This is the burden which came in the year that King Ahaz died. Do not rejoice, all you of Philistia, because the rod that struck you is broken. For out of the serpent's roots will come forth a viper, and its offspring will be a fiery flying serpent. The firstborn of the poor will feed, and the needy will lie down in safety. 
I will kill your roots with famine, and it will slay your remnant. Wail, O gate, cry, O city. All you of Philistia are dissolved, for smoke will come from the north, and no one will be alone in his appointed times. What will they answer, the messengers of the nation? That the Lord has founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall take refuge in it. May the Lord God Almighty open your ears and open your heart to what he is saying to Zion. Spiritual Zion, natural Zion. We know that God is sovereign. And what he has purposed shall come to pass. Again, we would love for you to contact us. You may so do by online. We are www.ordain-ministries.com. That's our website. We would love for you to purchase some of our books so you can get a, let me see, more of an understanding of what the Ark of the Covenant means in this last and evil days. And so you will see how the future has been wrapped up in the Ark of the Covenant. It's prophesied the times of the Lord and his sovereignty and what he's doing and when he's doing it. It's all wrapped up in the Ark of the Covenant. It's time now. He wants it revealed. He wants it shared. He wants us to know. May God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name.